This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Raptor fifth wheel toy hauler. The model number is uh, 362. Uh, it's still dirty on the outside, as you can see, but we're we're getting we're getting ready to wash it. Um, this is not a floor plan video; it's a how-to video. So I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. Okay. First of all, you have six-point leveling system. You can either control it from the panel that's in the hallway of the trailer or from uh, another panel that's on the other side. I'll show both of them to you. Uh, your spare tire is right next to it, of course. Uh, you have a uh, power awning, two power awnings with LED strips. Let's see if I can get this one handed here. Nope. Nope. I gotta turn the camera here, excuse me. Alright, this is just a, a refrigerator and a TV. For outdoor use, you have speakers, of course, outside speakers. Now, your uh, pass-through storage uh, is right here. Now, this this is uh, obviously your, your vacuum vacuum attachments right here. Your control panel for the touch panel, the control period is behind here. Um, let me see if I can get this going for you. Now this is the um, controller for your solar panels. Now what you have to do is you have to download the app to get to use this properly. You know, some of them have a lot of controls right on it. This one, all the, all the controls go on the app. It's a really good app. It tells you everything you need to know, more than you need to know. So all kinds of stuff. But you'll, uh, it's called, uh, uh, I can't see that far. But you'll uh, you can put in smart solar control, char charge controller and, in the App Store or the Google or the Apple Store and uh, you can download it. It may or may not ask you to or tell you it needs to upgrade the firmware, firmware first. Uh, I'm not sure if the guy, our guy who prepped it did that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But either, if it, tells you, if it tells you it needs to upgrade it, just go ahead and upgrade the firmware, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, your hydraulics are right here. Two 30 pound LP tanks. Ah, we got the cover off of your your uh, generator. Now you can control it from out here, of course. You can also control it. The most common thing to do is to control it from the touch panel inside, but it does have controls right there also. All right. Docking lights. You have a battery here. 27 series battery. This is your your um, controller for your leveling system, the outdoor controller. The, the, two, the two commands you use are auto level. That's, that's you'll, once you uh, uh, go ahead and pull the truck away, uh, you'll push auto level and it'll level it. Now this will rem always remember the last place, or the last position this was in before you auto leveled, right? That's called hitch height. So we'll remember the hitch height. So when you get ready to, to leave, the next thing you do is you're, you're going to scroll down one thing here and it says uh, auto hitch height, push enter. You push enter and it'll return the trailer to the exact position it was in right before you auto leveled it. So it'll remember the correct hitch height. So those are the, really the two commands you can use. You can, you can control them one leg at a time. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. But those two, auto level and auto hitch height are the two common ones. If you, if you just put level all, it'll nose dive it. It won't hurt anything unless you put something underneath the nose. Uh, in that case, it'll squish it. But uh, uh, if you do that, if you track all, it will actually nose dive the, the uh, trailer too. So auto hitch height and auto level. So this device right here is your inverter, right? So this not only converts power, conversion being going AC to DC power, 110 AC to 12 volt DC, this inverts, which is going from 12 volt DC to 110 AC. This, this does nothing but powers your refrigerator. So it's taking, the, it's taking the energy, when you're not plugged in, it's taking the energy from your battery and inverting it to AC power running your refrigerator. Um, therefore, uh, um, you know, your solar panel is always putting energy into your battery. And of course, when you're towing it, the, cho the tow line on your, your um, or, or the charge line on your, your tow vehicle will be charging it. And uh, uh, 
keep your refrigerator going while you're pulling down the road, for example. So it does invert power and it does convert power. We'll talk more about the converter and the solar panel when we get inside. Well, actually, the sol solar panel-wise, that the uh, little blue controller on the other side that I showed you and told you you have to get the app, um, that, that'll be pretty self-explanatory. It tells you everything you need to know. So um, uh, you, you, you can learn that when, once you get the app, I guess is what I'm saying. All right, hopefully that makes sense. I'm not sure if it made sense to me there. I have to think about it. But uh, you have a sprayer, obviously, here. You have all the different positions for your valves to, to put the water in any position you want or in any, um, uh, not position, but any, uh, uh, what word am I looking for? Configuration you want. You can run off city water. You can fill the tank and then pump water out of the tank if you're boondocking somewhere. You can flush your tank. You have valves right here, so it does all that. Winterizing, dewinterizing, all that sort of thing. Also, uh, you can kill your battery right here. This is a kill switch for your battery. Keep that in mind. You can always shut it right off. And this is just a case, this little thing, in case you wanted to add another solar panel uh, kit, a portable solar panel kit just to charge your battery. It's wired for that. This, this one's made by Zamp Power. Um, so that's, it. that's just in case you want to do that. It's pre-wired. Okay, so, like I said, we're going to clean this all up for you. We're just getting ready to do that. This has on-demand hot water. So, the controls for this are inside. Basically, when, it, when you call for water, when you turn on a, a faucet, the hot water, it's going to sense that, and it'll fire up, and it'll send you endless supply of hot water, which is great for the shower. You, you know, with it... With a regular water heater, you can get by most chores and things like that, but when it comes to, to showering, you never have enough water. This will give you an endless supply. So I'll show you the controls for that when we get inside also. Okay. You have uh, your slide room here. It's an AccuSlide. Uh, there are different types of slide rooms. This one is called an AccuSlide. Now you have, this is your, uh, there's two tanks here, two gasoline tanks. One is for your pump and your, uh, pan set so you can fill up your machines and then the other one is for the the uh, generator so keep that in mind uh, and there's the control for your generator or for your for your fuel pump okay you have um, a 50 amp system so, we, so there's a 50 amp shore cord and we give you the reducers to reduce it down to a 30 and then we give you another one to go down to a 20 if you need to the ladder is folded out right now so you can go on the roof but we'll put it back in the stowed position when, you, when you're ready to leave. Uh, your bed is down, or your bed, your ramp is down now. You can drop this all the way down. Obviously, you can use it as a ramp, or you can use it as a patio for right now. It also has a leg set on it, so it's really sturdy. Your, we'll go into this when you pick up, too. I'm not going to fold all this out. I only got one hand to use because I'm holding the camera. But this... Uh, this um, fencing goes all the way around it. You got sliding doors. It's really, really nice. So we'll show you that. Okay. And while we're talking about that, I guess I'll come in the back door here. So this is the garage door. Like I said, we'll go over this for you when you pick up. Um, these are the stairs that will go on the side of your of your patio, so you can go up and down with ease. You have a, a bunk and a sofa, two sofas that will convert to a bed, for example, or you could set up a table, you could do whatever you want, but it's all powered, and you have to pull the pins, we'll, we'll go over this with you, like I said, and you can raise this all the way to the top, so you got plenty of headroom to bring your, your bikes or your four-wheeler or whatever you have, um, you know, plenty of headroom, so, um, and you can also convert it into one large bed back here, too, so you have a bed here, and another one down here um, so plenty of sleeping area um, the switches are here okay if you can see that there's a, an awning on the back I think there was an awning let me go look Did you have the two awnings on the door side and then you have another power awning here Below it in that housing you see the backup camera, so it actually has a backup camera also, comes with it. Alright. You have a, um, 
a ladder and a carpet to roll out for for the uh, the ladder for the bunk and the uh, carpet for obviously the floor. You have a hookup for a washer dryer, either a combo or a stackable. That is set up for that already. If you ever want to add that, TV of course. Uh, your refrigerator. Keep in mind that this is this is an AC refrigerator. We talked about using the inverter on it, but there, right here you can. When you're traveling, you always want to put this thing in here. Can't see it very well with without the light on here. Well, right there. Anyway, <laughs> let me get some light. I'm fighting a losing battle there. Okay, let's try this then. You can see uh, it screws right into here when you're uh, when you're ready to travel and it'll keep both or all four doors shut. Alrighty. These also jackknife flats, so you have another bed here to sleep on. Uh, your keys are hanging here. Microwave works like any other microwave. It's a convection. Uh, you have all your remotes right here and your packet with all your information in it. The, uh, I don't know if he's got the gas turned on or not here, let me see. Uh, you have three three knobs for the three burners. This this one is the sparker. You turn it clockwise to spark. And this one is for the oven. You also have lights here. Okay. There you go. It's that simple. The oven is the same thing except you have a pilot light at the bottom. Right down there and all the way to the back. So you're going to go to the picture of the pilot light. You depress it. Then you light it. After you see the pilot light light, you just hold it for another 10 or 15 seconds to heat up the thermocouple. Then you're all set, you go to whatever whatever temperature you want. Uh, when you shut it off, the flame goes out obviously, but so does the pilot light. So you want to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Always travel with this closed. Okay. Seating of course, you have another uh, TV and you have uh, uh, your sound here. Let me shut that off. I can always tell who is in here by the music that's playing. Um, this plays discs here. Whoops! I hit the mode button here. I'm just gonna bring it back around. TV audio, FM audio. Okay. So, um, plays discs. It has Bluetooth, so you can stream wirelessly from your phone or your tablet. And uh has three speaker zones. Two are inside the trailer, three is outside the trailer. Zone three, which is Z3, they're referring to, that's outside. If you push that button, you can set a separate source and a separate volume for the outside. Let's say somebody's watching a video in here, you can push Z3 and listen to the radio outside, for example, at whatever volume you want using the same system. So keep that in mind, that's what Z3 is. You have your manual speaker selection here. Uh, you can, you have a, a um, USB drive here. Um, you also have an HDMI in. If you want to go into the system with something, you can go in there. So it does everything you need to do in them some. Okay. Um, so this is your demand water heater here. Now it, it's there's a safety device built in if if, you're, if the water isn't turned on let's say you don't have city water turned on or there's not water in the tank with the pump on it won't it won't do anything it won't turn on but what when you do have water I uh, it'll basically as soon as it hits this case it's set to 114 you can change it if you want but 114 is pretty common um, you can uh, you can just hit the uh, button here and, and it's gonna it's gonna draw it's gonna it's gonna heat water as it as it uh it's gonna <laughs> sorry it's gonna heat the water as it's called for so you turn on any hot water valve and it's just gonna give you continuous hot water you can change the temperature here so on and so forth like I said it'll it'll only run if there's uh, water available it's a safety device okay your inverter this is telling you what's happening with the inverter um, so keep that in mind you can shut it on and off also let me do this right here you get through the different codes 13.5 12 volts um, so that's all handled from here the uh, 
the converter is all handled through the the converter like most trailers have, or all trailers have really. Let me find it here. Like I said, converter goes from 12 volt or from 110 AC to 12 volt DC. Um, inversion does just the opposite. It goes from uh, um, 12 volt DC to 110 AC. All they have to do is find it. I'll be all set. While I'm standing here, this is your this is your uh, uh, vacuum here. So I showed you the attachments up in the front. Okay, let me see here. Guess I should know where everything is before I start talking about it, huh? Got a mystery here. Huh. Well, let me look one more time. Not in the bathroom. Sometimes it can be behind a compartment. Sometimes. Yep, that's where it is. So right here, this is the converter. So it converts 110 AC when you're plugged in, 110 AC to 12 volt DC, right? So you got a regular 110 AC circuit breakers here, and they're all labeled. These are just like the ones you have at home. Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC, and you see you got 12 volt fuses here, and they're all labeled, right? Uh, also, this is a battery tender, so as long as you're plugged in, it's going to sense how much energy your battery needs, and it'll always keep it charged as long as you're plugged in. So it's it converts AC to DC power, plus it charges your battery. So you got the tow vehicle charging your battery when you're driving, when you're when you're uh, plugged in, this will charge the battery, and the solar panel will always uh, convert as much uh, as much sun energy as it can, and uh, and send it to the battery for storage. Okay. So that's where you control the converter and the inverter controllers right here. Okay. So to your to get you by, it's four zeros. That's the default code here. You can change it if you want. But here you have your generator. It's all right there. Prime start, everything you need. Um, your awnings, your slide rooms, for example, right here, in and out. Um, master lighting. You can do all the light lighting individual or independent of each other. Um, your heating and cooling, for example very simple so everything can be done from here when it comes to the uh, leveler you can use this leveler or the the one on the uh, up in the compartment up there that I showed you okay you also can check your levels of your tanks turn on your your water pump it tells you your voltage so it uh, tells you everything you need to know these are sensors here for the HVAC system. There's probably one up here also. There usually is. Yeah, there's another one here. So you have two air conditioners in this trailer. That's why it's a 50 amp system. So you have your your AC here, and then you have your main AC in the other room there. Of course, TV. And I this is good. I mentioned about the refrigerator, but some of these outlets are inverted. Right? So you can see right here telling you that you can it's inverted. That, what that means basically is you'll be able to use an AC. If you're stuck someplace without any without any hookup, without any uh, AC power, it will convert enough or, or invert enough DC power so you can run like a small appliance if you wanted, a coffee pot, a blender, whatever, that sort of thing. So keep that in mind. Okay. Bathroom is like uh, most RV bathrooms. A sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. The toilet sits right over a um, the black tank like all trailer toilets do. So when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water, you put a dose of chemical right in the bowl. Then you'll stand on the pedal and you'll stand on it long enough for about a gallon of water to go down through the black tank along with the chemical. And then you're ready to use it. You can't use it dry because if you don't do that, if you don't put chemical water in it, the smell will be super terrible. Plus it'll get clogged up on you. So uh, keep that in mind if you don't already know that. There's some storage underneath this bench here. There's, there's storage tucked away in, in different places. Your 
footrest in the back on these are powered so you can you can control them from right there all righty let's see what else we have here okay I think we've gone over pretty much all of it this is your your um there's a vent up here that's powered I'm looking for the either you have a remote I didn't prep this so I don't know but either you have a remote for it or that's it you have handheld or it's on the wall um, I bet you it's probably in here I bet on it but either way there's going to be a remote controller so you can open the open the lid on this plus plus run it you know uh, whatever speed you want so it, does, it really does a good job in pulling all the uh, warm air out especially on those days where it's not it's not quite uh, warm enough to use the air conditioner you can you can you can use that okay so as I look around this actually has three air conditioners it's the rebob so that's something I just learned right there Normally when I prep them, I'll know more, you know, I'll be able to tell you more about it because I, I have already looked through the whole thing, but I'm a little behind things. Okay, I think that's going to cover it then. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Second of all, I showed you the, the ladder on the side of the trailer. That's in the out position right now so you can climb it. You want to have you or somebody go up there on the roof at least... You know, the manufacturer says every 90 days. You want to look around the roof, make sure there's no cracking or separation at any of the sealant. Make sure there's no damage to the roofing material or roofing attachments by, let's say, low branches or road debris flying up there. You're just going to give it a quick look over to make sure it's in good shape. You can't see what's happening on the roof unless you go up there and look. So uh, you, want to, you want to protect your investment and make sure everything's nice and dry. So that should be part of your regular maintenance. Make sure you inspect your roof. Um, and right now the system is filled with water. There's no antifreeze in it at all in it, so it's ready to go, okay? Uh, I think that covers it. So keep in mind that, that many of these, uh, these attachments, these panels, um, they'll all have uh, apps for them also. So I told you about the app for the solar panel. Some of these other ones will have apps too if you want to download those too, okay? Thank you.